Hey there guys, what is up? Welcome back. My name is Kyle and today we're taking a look at the top five applications for your Mac. Now, these are not gonna be everyday applications that you probably already heard of or that are on every single top five list. You're not gonna find Dropbox on here and you're definitely not gonna find Bartender on here. These are some of the more uh, commonly forgot apps that you might not think about when getting your new Mac and installing the cool things on it. So most of these apps are here to make your life a little bit easier, productivity, utility apps on this list. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first app of the day. The first app on the list is App Cleaner. It is a simple, small, and free application that allows you to properly uninstall other applications. App Cleaner not only deletes the original file, but all the supporting files too, which simply hitting Move to Trash does not do. This prevents old files from collecting and slowing down your Mac. To use it, simply drag the application into App Cleaner. It will search for all the files associated with the application, and then you can simply tap Remove. You can even set it up to detect when you delete apps the normal way, and offer to clean them up too. This is a nifty little app to have, and I highly suggest it. The next app is called Magnet, and it is available from the Mac App Store for just 99 cents right now, although it is usually about $5. It is a simple app that brings the snapping functionality of Windows to Mac. Simply drag a window to one side of the screen to run it in split screen. You can also drag it to one of the corners in order to run four apps at once, or drag windows to the top of the screen in order to maximize them, just like Windows. Magnet also has a few shortcuts for performing all the actions, but I don't find them that useful. Next up, we have an app called Nearlock. It has a free version, although it is basically useless without the $4 upgrade. Nearlock allows you to tether your Mac to your phone and unlock your Mac if your phone gets too far away and unlock it when it gets close. It has plenty of settings to customize it to do exactly what you want to do. In my case, I have it set up to lock my Mac when my phone gets too far away, but not unlock it when I get close. I then use Touch ID to unlock my Mac when I get back. There is an accompanying iOS app that allows you to view the status of your computer, add multiple computers, or change the settings however you'd like. It supports using your phone's Touch ID sensor, unlocking with an Apple Watch, and so much more. Our next app is more of a service, and it is called Backblaze. It makes backing up your Mac and retrieving files super simple. It costs just $5 a month for unlimited storage and is well worth it. It will even back up your external hard drives, and all backups are securely encrypted. It keeps old versions of your files too, in case you accidentally corrupted a file or made a change or mistake. All backups are done automatically when connected to Wi-Fi and a power source. When you need to recover the files, you simply log in to the Backblaze website. You can select which files you need to download, and download them via a zip file. If you need a larger file, or your entire hard drive, you can even request that they mail you a drive with all of your files on it. This is free as long as you return the drive within 30 days. Fifth and final app on the list is called Yoink. It is a bit pricey at $6.99, but it is definitely worth it. Yoink makes it super simple to drag and drop files between applications. Without Yoink, you need to drag the file, hover over the app icon, then hover over the window, then finally drop it. With Yoink, you simply drag the icon to the Yoink tray. The tray then stays on the side of the screen so that you can drag the file directly into the app you want later. You are able to customize the direction and size and location of the Yoink tray, as well as the behavior. All right, guys, and there you have it. Those are my top five applications that I really like that I think a lot of people forget about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, all the download links to all the apps I mentioned are in the description box below, so be sure to check them out. And I hope you guys had a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.